right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 25 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, presenting the challenger, the enforcer. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 41 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Flag. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go, number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC Heavyweight Championship fight. It could be a quick night at the office. We shall find out in short order. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The Whoa! Whoa! Work 
working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Looking for a guillotine. A side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flute choke here. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. You don't know when that leg. Strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent's still up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He got his foot on the hip, but now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Well, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now you're looking for defensively. And this might just be a matter of time. executed triangle choke tonight. I mean, just masterful. The way he worked to that triangle choke was amazing to watch, and you could tell how high level a grappler this fighter is from his back. And you didn't even have to pay for your seat. Holy smokes! <laughs> so yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique. And ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds in the very first round. Recurring the winner by tap out into a triangle choke. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proving he's the elite among the elite. Of in a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter he remains, the heavyweight champion of the world.